and then we go underneath. That is the creepiest looking part, in my opinion. Hey guys, welcome back to Lexington Podiatry. We have a yet another ingrown toenail for you. Um, this young man has just one side of it. He has problems with both, but he was able to doctor one and get it better, but this last one just didn't complete the course. So we're gonna numb it up. We have a mixture of lidocaine and marcaine, and we're gonna get his toe good and numb. So, for younger people, sometimes older people as well, we use a couple of different tools. I have cold spray that I'll spray on the skin. Super cold, my dear. It helps to freeze it so he doesn't feel that initial little stick. Then we have this cute little vibrator tool that Tara's gonna put on there. And you feel that vibrate and it feels really funny, right? The goal of it is that he feels the vibration and not really the medicine going in. Now, of course he's gonna feel a little bit, but the slower I go with this, the easier it is on him. When you push this medication in really, really fast, it tends to burn and sting. I had a patient tell me that numbing the toe felt like it was swelling really, really quickly. And that's the best description I think I've had for it. With the technique I use, I only do two pokes at the bottom of the toe. I feel like the less pokes I use, the less pain the patient has, of course. All right, more cold spray. Out of six cc's, I put two in on the side I'm not working on, and I put the rest in on the side that we will be working on. As you can see, it's all red and inflamed, and when there's fluid underneath it, that causes um, it to neutralize the numbing medication. So sometimes I need to put a little bit more in there. And sometimes I need to not do that too. You good? Okay. <laughs> He's really tough. tough. I'm pretty impressed. No offense, but young men are usually the worst. Usually they hide this from their parents for the longest time. Yeah. You're doing great. The toe does get puffy. It is going to constrict some of the blood flow at the base of the toe, which can cause the tip of the toe to turn colors, which is pretty normal. Okay. There we have it, that's step one. So we'll give them a few minutes to get numb and then we will resume. Perfect. Squeezed, I milked the blood flow down, I put a tourniquet on. And let's see, can you feel this now? Uh, no. Good. He did feel it earlier, so I did have to put some more numbing medicine in. Because it's so inflamed, like I said before, it does neutralize the medication and sometimes it doesn't work as well. All right, my dear. The goal is for you not to feel anything but pressure, so if you do, you let me know, okay? Um. I already did the torture part. So we clean up all of this bloody stuff that's taking over the nail so I can see where I need to loosen it, see where I need to cut. We start by loosening the cuticle on all sides, and then we go underneath. That is the creepiest looking part, in my opinion. And we're gonna cut. And it kinda has the line there where the tissue had folded over and that's where I wanna follow. I wanna take enough that it doesn't come back, but I also don't want to leave him with a bad looking toe. Oop. There we go. There is my piece of nail. It's a thinner one, but long. We go back in, we're gonna clean it out and make sure that I didn't leave anything there. When the skin folds over, it's gonna come right on top of that toe and actually make it look pretty good. Down here in the corner, that tends to fold over very quickly. So I wanna make sure that we have enough out that it won't recreate an ingrown toenail. All of this tissue is kind of gunk from having that nail poking in for so long. Here's a little piece of something we're gonna get. There we go. And let's check it one more time and make sure everything is out. My gut's telling me I need to take just a little bit more because I don't want that very bottom corner to cause an issue a year from now. 
as nice as we are here, nobody wants to have to come back and have this procedure done again. There we go. That makes me feel better. All right, you can see up here the tissue was kind of mushy. That is because it was so inflamed for so long. It does start to degradate the skin. If it was too bad, we wouldn't be able to put the chemical on there, but I think we're good. This is the sodium hydroxide. It does turn black when it mixes with blood. It's okay, it doesn't mean his toe is gonna rot off. Thank goodness. There was nothing. We do three applications of 10 seconds each. I usually try to hold this nail down because I don't want any of the chemical to leak underneath there. It can cause it to kind of loosen over time and it'll grow out just fine, but I don't want to cause any issues. And I'm also trying to keep my fingers out of the camera. vinegar solution to stop the cooking process. He is well done at this point. Perfect. Get him cleaned up. And dry him off and then we can release the tourniquet. Normally what you'll see is automatically the skin starts to turn back to a more normal color. That's called a capillary refill time and we definitely need to see that. We already have medicine on the gauze. We put a large amount of it on there today because it has a tendency to stick if we don't. And that's the last thing the patient wants is to have to come here and let me numb the toe up again to get the gauze off or rip it off. Either way. Like I always say, this is the part that's most important for the healing process. There we go. All right, guys, there you have it. Another ingrown toenail procedure, saving toes one at a time. Have a good day.